Hey, what's up, guys? This is uh, Gary with Low Voltage Designs. Uh, first off, I want to apologize for the quality of this video. I've got some better equipment coming soon. I want to do a quick video on an install I did this weekend. I installed a complete Unify setup at a remote location and connected the USG back to the controller at the main office. As you can see, I purchased a USG and 8 port 60 watt PoE switch and one wireless AP AC light. Uh, this is a small office trailer, trailer install, so this will be plenty for what we need. Um, excuse the mess while I go through the install. Uh, my one foot patch cord didn't arrive in time, so I had to work with what I had. I did miss some of the recording during the process, but I'll try to explain it as I go through it. Uh, this company has three separate locations, one being a main office and two satellite offices. Um, I put together a network diagram so I can visually see what my network will be like. Uh, today I'm working on the bottom diagram. Um, yes, that's right. You see that correctly. Uh, got a satellite dish in the bottom. Uh, this office is out in the area where there's no network services, so we sign them up with a satellite provider. Uh, that's how we're getting our network. So I plugged everything in, connected my laptop to the LAN port on the USG, opened up a command prompt, did an IP config to make sure I was pulling an IP address from the 192.168.1.1 range, which I was. I grabbed the 168.1.6 IP address. Uh, so I logged into the USG. Uh, at this time, I changed the LAN settings uh, from 192.168.1.1 to 192.168.30.1. That's what I'm going to be using per my uh, diagram for this site. Um, I did this first step because back at the controller, uh, before I headed out to the remote location, I created a new site on the controller, and I had already set up the networks, the data, voice, and guests with their specific IP addresses. Uh, the USG rebooted, and I was able to log in with the 192.168.30.1. Um, now logged back in, I went down to the config click configuration on the left, scroll down to the controller settings, which is where you input the inform URL. In the past, you would need to SSH into the device, but now you can uh, do it straight from the, the interface here. Um, so, you, so down there, I have a fully qualified domain name that I use that points back to my controller. Um, so that's where I put in the HTTP colon slash slash unified dot my domain name colon 8080 forward slash inform uh, which then informs my controller um, of the USG so I missed it in the video here but uh, I then logged into my controller from my phone I saw that it was the USG was ready to adopt um, so I adopted it it came up then I powered up the 8 port switch which then powered up the wireless access point and now you can see in this video right here this they're ready to be adopted um, so yeah it was pretty easy um, you know, thanks for watching. If anyone want to see any more of their videos related to the Unify line of uh, network equipment or even Grand Stream VoIP equipment, uh, while on site I did a site-to-site -site VPN and was able to plug in a Grand Stream VoIP phone and uh, from the office, and everything worked great. So yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.